So uh, a bunch of people on the live stream are pointing out that the crazy anti-gunners are out there again. And they never let an opportunity to stand on the graves of the dead go to waste. And now we've got another terrorist attack on a military installation with a Saudi military uh, military person. And I don't know if they're an officer or not. I don't know the rank. but And they go ahead and they say, see, it, it's, it's um, even with guns around, see, guns don't do anything. The problem is it was a gun-free zone. It was a gun-free zone. Firearms are not allowed on that installation. And he brought a he brought a handgun on and he killed people who were not armed because they were obeying the rules until people who were armed showed up and used violence to end him. That's what happened. That's the reality. Now, in the meantime, you've got Bloomberg out there. I don't know. See, the thing is, Bloomberg probably thinks that this is a great idea. But I don't know that there is a worse time for him to release an anti-gun platform, even though we already knew that Bloomberg was anti-gun because it's Bloomberg. Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg, who is sympathetic toward the Chinese Communist Party, according to Daily Wire, unveiled a massive anti-freedom proposal on Thursday aimed at severely clamping down on Americans' constitutionally protected Second Amendment rights. By the way, the Chinese would like us to not have guns, too. Speaking in Colorado, Bloomberg called for criminalizing transfers of firearms, increasing the age required to purchase firearms, a multi-day waiting period when purchasing firearms, unconstitutional red flag laws, which, by the way, are continuing to cause problems, which allow the government to confiscate um, red flag laws, let you take your guns away without you actually having any due process. Okay, Then some, some places it's easier for you to get them back than other places, but generally speaking, you just have to have somebody say, I think they might be dangerous, and then they come take your firearms away. Bloomberg also essentially proposed a national firearm registry by calling for a gun licensing system and universal background checks. Uh, to say that Bloomberg is clueless when it comes to the Second Amendment and gun laws would be a generous given many of the head-scratching comments that the New York billionaires made over the years, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's, um, again, that is in the Daily Wire. But... You know, you've got a situation where <clears throat> Americans hate the idea of a gun registry, okay? And I also have to remind everybody that Canada had a gun registry. Do you know how many crimes it solved? Joe, any idea? Were you here the last time that I talked about the Canadian gun registry? Because Canada registered every firearm sold. Any idea? Hmm? Or at least every long gun sold. Zero. Help them solve zero crimes. So guess what Canada did to it? Got rid of it. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of effort. They gave it a the good old college try, okay? And they were unable to use that registry to solve even one gun crime. Zero. Zilch. So they said, why continue to do it? There is only one reason for a gun registry and that is to know where to go to pick up all of the guns now what did i say yesterday 423 million or something like that firearms in the united states <laughs> like 17 million of that 420 some odd million are ar-15s you're never getting those things it's not going to happen the bump stock buyback okay the bump stock is not even popular among shooters. Shooters don't even like the bump stock. The ones who own it got it because it was a new novelty item and it's one of those toys you can take to the range and play with once. Maybe keep it in the range bag in case somebody else wants to try it, but you don't really care about it all that much. So bump stocks are not even popular. And what was there, like 16 people who turned in bump stocks or something? I'm, I'm exaggerating a little. It was like 70 people. Out of the thousands of bump stocks that are out there in the market. So something that's not even popular. People aren't turning it in. Why? Is it because it's critical to their arsenal? No, it's not critical to their arsenal. Bump stocks are a silly little little um, toy, really, to take to the range. It is simply the principle of it. They don't want the government to have it. And let's be honest. The last time... A government force told us to hand in our guns. We shot them in the face and we drove them back to the United Kingdom. That's what happened the last time somebody told Americans to give up their guns. So it ain't going to happen. But if Bloomberg 
who we all knew was on this, you know, it was going to come up sooner or later. It was going to have to happen. Um, but he did it on a day where we found out that somebody went into a gun-free zone again and shot a bunch of innocent people who were not armed, even though a large chunk of them will be trained and have firearms, but they were not armed. Why? Because they obeyed the rules. Once again, I would like to remind everybody that Indiana is not responsible for any of these things. We've got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel.